So that should help us sync it up. So let's talk about why the video was late this week. This week, Jeff helped me make a duct tape dummy, which is one of the first steps that you need to do if you want to make a fursuit. It acts as a mannequin of your body that you can uh, drape fabric onto and uh, use for patterning. Um, and because it's made from your body, it's a one-to-one -one replica, so you can really see how it's going to look on you from a distance, which is really helpful if you're making a costume for yourself. And if you're making a costume for someone else who's not physically present, say if you're a fursuit maker and you're doing uh, custom work for someone else, it acts as a body double. I wanted to make one so that I could see what the full suit would look like during the process. In order to make a duct tape dummy, you put on a painter's suit. It's almost like a trash bag that you wear over your whole body. Uh, and then your assistant will tape all over the duct tape dummy and then cut you out of it. Uh, there's usually a zipper down the front. You can save the zipper, but then they will cut you out of the suit, uh, you tape it back up, and you have a one-to-one -one replica of you. So let's jump into the footage that we do have. All right, I'm making, well, I'm making Jeff. Say hello, Jeff. No. Jeff is making a duct tape dummy for me. I have to stand here, but he has, I think, the harder job. Jeff doesn't get to talk to the camera anymore because of some things that he just said. So I'll check back in once we're done with the hips. We're doing this technically the second time now. The first time we tried um, the crotch of the suit is too low. Yes, the crotch is very important. When you're making a garment, you need to have give in the armpits and in the crotch because that's where you have a lot of range of motion. If you think about hips and shoulders, those are your ball and socket joints. So you need a lot of room. So they need to be represented accurately on the body double or else you will have um, weird gaps where like from here to here, there would just be a straight piece of fabric. And then when I put my hand down, it would drape and wrinkle strangely. So to avoid that, you really want to get duct tape as close under the armpit and as close up into the crotch as you can when you're doing this. Obviously, you don't want to cut off circulation. You don't want a wedgie or anything like that, but you want it to be close. And we had trouble with that. Okay, so I have the suit, painter suit on. I have a duct tape belt this time, which we're hoping is going to solve some of the problems that we ran into. Uh, this is my ass assistant. I'm his assistant in this. This is Jeff. You wanna say, do you want me to use a different name? Do you want an alias? If you're annoying, I'll start swearing. Then you can't use the audio. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he's rad and, uh, being very helpful. Uh, and I'm very thankful for his help. So I'm gonna keep standing here. Uh, and checking in occasionally with the selfie stick to see his process and progress. Uh, right now we got the legs are starting to get taped up. Some really exciting stuff is happening down in my crotch. Your lizard egg in <laughs> We'll check in later. <laughs> I've been tearing off strips of tape for him and handing them behind me. So, because he's back there now. <laughs> Clearly he hates this job. Duct tape undies. Yay! This is where we ran into problems last time. It was okay. It was my fault for not explaining it better and not, yeah, just that. This is really just that. I didn't expect this to be difficult. And that's my fault. So there's a little more finesse to making a duct tape dummy than just sticking tape on someone wherever. It's best if you take the length of tape and you put it over top of a section where there's a curve. 
So if I was doing this on my shoulder, I would want a piece of the length of the tape to go over top of my shoulder. And then you would want another piece of tape to crisscross over top of it. It's like a shoelace. You want lots of X's where you lay the tape sort of like that over top of itself. So all of the ends are covered and you don't end up with just layers of tape because then you can end up peeling up the whole layer at once by accident. Uh, and you really don't want that. You, you want all of your duct tape to be stuck down. So you want them in a semi-random pattern. And I didn't explain that when I asked Jeff to help me. It's also a little difficult to work with the trash bag material. Uh, once you stick something to it, you cannot peel it back up. It just rips at that area, which we discovered on the first one that we did. Okay, I distracted him with a quick treat so that he wouldn't freak out. But we have most of a leg Where'd you done. Put my tape. Got a butt. Butt shot. We got a cat. Hi, kitty. Meow. Good boy. Okay. We have pants. Check it. Check the pants and all of their glory. Okay, this is why we don't have a whole lot of footage. You see here where you can see all of the curves of my body? This duct tape dummy is too tight. We should have left more room for you to, as they say in the Mischief Makers tutorial video, we didn't leave enough room to pinch away the suit from my body. So it was entirely too close. This is why we had to make much deeper cuts than we were expecting to. It's going. My, my main man here has died. Rest in peace. No, don't tape your glasses. You need those. Uh, Rengar has moved to the couch where he is hunting my measuring tape. And we're moving on to the torso. So I'm gonna have to stand up straight with my arms out. We're almost done. We weren't able to film from... I don't know what I expected, to be honest. And that's all of the video <laughs> that we got recorded. From there, my arms were stretched out straight and it had been about an hour and a half. So I was getting tired. Jeff was getting tired. It was a little crazy. So in the Mischief Makers video, they cut up about halfway up the calf and about halfway, uh, about past the elbow. And from there, they unzip their model and are able to take the whole thing off. We got done marking the suit like they say to do in the tutorial and Jeff went to cut it off, and he cut it off up to my elbow, and I couldn't get the suit off. And then I started feeling a little antsy, and he cut further up to about halfway up my arm, and I still couldn't get the suit off. I've never been claustrophobic before, but I experienced that for the first time. I just kind of went into my head and I started doing breathing exercises, tried to get myself out of the insanity panic space and know that this is not my forever, this is just my now, <laughs> and I will make it through this alive. It's gonna be all right. I was still kind of panicking, so that didn't work. I said, okay, let's do it halfway up the other arm. So he cuts it halfway up the other arm, and it's still not working. Uh, I start getting upset, and I tell him, I'm like, just cut it, just cut it off, just cut it off. I kept repeating it at that point. So he ended up cutting through the hood uh, to get the whole thing off of me and stripped it off. And then I relaxed my elbows, which were really strained at that point. I was making a really conscious decision to bend my knees about every five minutes and do this little, like, what I call the choir wiggle. If you've ever been in choir, they tell you don't lock your knees or you'll pass out. 
So I knew not to lock my knees, but I did lock my elbows and they were very painful by the end of it. So there was no need for us to get the suit as tight as we did. It would have been fine to make and if we just got it close and there was some gap room there, that would have helped because as it is now, I'm going to have to add a little extra give somewhere in the suit so that it's not skin tight to me. And I think I accidentally created a little more work for myself that way. So the takeaway, if you're going to make a duct tape dummy, do your absolute best to find a crafty person to help you out because... It's not, it's not necessary to have someone who's crafty uh, or who is a seamstress, but it definitely helps. If you, if you can find someone in your life who sews or a quilter or someone who makes garments would be perfect, uh, go ahead and contact them first. Regardless of who you get to help you make a duct tape dummy, Make sure you are the person that educates them. Don't just send them a video and expect them to watch it. Explain what the whole process is beforehand. Make sure you have your fabric scissors or EMT scissors to cut you out beforehand and expect to be standing for quite a long time. It'll be okay. Don't panic. And uh, I hope your suit making goes well if you choose to make one. And if you were just here to hear what the heck happened to me on Thursday, now you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week. Bye. Hello, Rengar. Have you been fighting with the dog? Is that why your head is wet? You're a good boy.